Let's return to our uh, Yoma Daf Samach Tet Amud Bet text because uh, yes, there's a passage there that uh, we skipped over, uh, really just because uh, uh, yes, I felt that the uh, that last video was uh, way too long. Uh, though long, there's something to be said for uh, immersion and intensity. Uh, or five hour, six hour uh, uh, video uh, reading text. Uh, well, it wasn't that long. So, uh, yes. Well, we saw that uh, the first part of that, it was really the second part, we saw that uh, uh, this is the divinity's true strength. Strength is power is uh, also involves uh, not to, uh, is the restraint of power. Uh, that takes uh, heroism. Uh, that takes tremendous strength to be able to know uh, when to wield uh, power or strength and when to uh, wield it in the sense of uh, uh, withholding it uh, and refraining. And of course, uh, why does the divine refrain? I mean, what is the uh, outcome, uh, the repercussion? Uh, the text explicitly, well, uh, almost explicitly says that Hayot ve'kumar ha'ubdash koveshet yitzro, the fact that the divine does uh, curb its uh, passion. And I uh, was beginning to mention the other day, uh, last uh, yesterday uh, in the recording, uh, that Rabbi Soloveitchik uh, 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 highlights for us that there is another version. Instead of uh, Yitzro, we have Koho, Hakovesh Koho. So it's quite literal there, quite direct, uh, quite immediate and striking. That uh, he who, who is the strong person, Mihu Agibor, Hakovesh Koho. He who, she who, overcomes, uh, who, who controls and restrains uh, and withholds uh, his, her, uh, its power, its strength. To behold strength is a, a tremendously radical form of strength. Uh, and so this is, so we can say with integrity uh, that Ha'el Gadol Hagibor, we can say Hagibor, uh, Gvurotav were indeed uh, present uh, in the uh, uh, enemy's occupation, uh, subjugation of uh, uh, Israel, uh, because uh, and then the ver this this passage continues. Shinotein erechapayim l'rishayim l'rishayim. Yes, well, that's really said with a great deal of pain because that's a uh, beyond a heavy cost. It's uh, beyond a heavy cost, uh, heavy, heavy, heaviest cost. Uh, in the uh, collection of children's poems and drawings from uh, Theresienstadt in Czechoslovakia, We've heard some music here in Israel for Holocaust, during Holocaust Day. Music by some of the composers who did their work at Theresienstadt. Of course, Theresienstadt was, uh, was a showpiece uh, for, by, by the Nazis invited uh, the International Red Cross and other international uh, observers to see that really uh, the Jews were fine uh, and they were uh, uh, Yes, in, in, in these uh, camps for their own good. And uh, here's an example, Theresienstadt. Of course, they didn't show them the rest of the camp, uh, um, uh, but they had part of the camp uh, that they had set up uh, really as a Hollywood, you know, kind of a thing. And, but for sure, uh, they collected their uh, artists and intellectuals uh, and writers and painters and uh, musicians and... Uh, they did produce uh, and uh, produce uh, plays and musical pieces and then perform them 
But what they didn't tell you was, again, that behind the scenes, uh, the way their living conditions were terrible, really, and that uh, they were periodically, the musicians and uh, uh, artists uh, were changing uh, who they were because they were uh, periodically sending them uh, to their uh, horrific murders uh, at, uh, at Auschwitz. Uh, so, Shinoten Erech Apayim Rashaim, that's awfully patient. Yeah. The divinity uh, is patient with the wicked. Uh, why? Because free will. And Yeshayahu Leibovich, Professor Leibovich explains, he argues, he says, I mean, you know, free will. I mean, you can't have free will and then say, well, sometimes, you know, we'll abrogate it. <laughs> So then it's not really uh, free will. You either have free will or you don't have free will. If, uh, if it's sometimes abrogated, uh, uh, not to speak of uh, all the time, really, without your kind of knowing it somehow, uh, that's really a, another, a Star Trek planet. You know, and if you want, we can have that kind of a planet. We'll have a lot less suffering, but we won't have humanity as we know it. We also won't have great music uh, and art, and etc., because we won't be... Uh, there won't be catharsis, there won't be pathos, uh, there won't be uh, a place really for rachamim, there won't be a place for taking up the life of Torah and mitzvot. As the Rambam says, you can't have, uh, to have mitzvot implies uh, the, the con a condition that people have free will. You can't uh, command somebody to do something and not do something if really they have no choice in the matter, if really it's somehow determined. Um, so the divine's patience is incredible because it uh, withholds its power so that uh, this is called simtsum in uh, the Lurianic Kabbalah so that uh, uh, people can uh, people can uh, have free will um, um, I'm going to stop here for a second and ask my neighbor's dog <laughs> to uh, record uh, her video at a different time. Apparently she's on the roof there recording uh, recording her video. So let's see uh, what I can do. Mm -hmm.